Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Gaming Alien aka TGA. Hope you're all having a great day. And today we're here to talk about the classes that you will get within the Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition, all the benefits you get for those classes, and we're going to be taking a look in depth at those classes we have seen already. So if you do enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and also subscribe as well if you want. That would be absolutely fantastic. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So starting off with the Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition, we have got the Elite Officer being the Officer class. You will unlock for him the Blurg 1120, which is a pistol. You will get an enhanced grip modification for that gun and a Battle Command Epic ability. So the Blurg 1120 is a pistol. Expect all the officers to have sidearms, maybe different variations of them. And they won't have major, major guns and they will be in charge of your team on the battleground. It has an enhanced grip modification that comes with it and that kind of indicates that there will be different tiers to modifications so maybe a standard grip modification and then you can upgrade that grip modification for an enhanced modification to then improve your you know recoil your stability your aiming overall that would be kind of cool to see a different tier system within attachments and modifications for guns that would be great so the next thing is the best one out of all of them is the battle command epic ability. Notice the word epic in there. So the battle command obviously has to do with their command in battles and the epic ability indicates that there will be another tier system for abilities just like in Battlefront 1 but obviously up to date and more advanced. In Battlefront 1 we've seen the card you could upgrade them to black and gold cards which gave them a slight upgrade in time and cooldown and their damage or whatever that it was that you upgraded. Now the epic ability means you get a shortcut to this, where if you do pre-order this edition, you get a shortcut straight to Epic, you don't need to do any in-game upgrades, you don't need to buy them, I don't know how it's going to work, you need to get kills, I don't know how it's going to work. So you get straight Epic ability of the Battle Command, you don't need to work out through the tiers, you don't need to go through Standard, Hard, Easy, Normal, Master, Legendary, I don't know how it's going to work, I'm just naming out some names that are usually to do with tiers. So that's the Elite Officer, you know, kind of cool, I'd try him out but I don't think he'll be my main guy to go. Moving on to the Heavy Metal, which is the Heavy Assault class. Heavy Assault we did see in Battlefront 2, the original Battlefront 2. Uh, that guy, he was a mo they were mainly shock troopers and they carried large weapons like this guy right here. Now he is carrying the FWMB-10, I think that says, it's a little bit blurry in my perspective. It has a barrel vent modification and there is a personal shield epic ability. So the FW MB10, obviously a large gun, a heavy assault gun, a heavy gunner, and it looks a lot like the T21. So I, it's not going to be the T21 because a T21 will 100% be in the game. It just looks like a gun that does the same thing as that, so nothing to say there. But the barrel vent modification, now there's no enhanced standard, there's nothing to do with that on there, so maybe that's for certain modifications. Now the barrel vent modification indicates that that affects the cooling time or something like that, you know, for the gun when it cools down or maybe it doesn't overheat as quickly. So the barrel vent, that's the only thing I can think that that does. Maybe, I don't know what else it could do, you know, increasing the airflow to the gun to cool it down. The personal shield, we've all seen that epic ability, just indicates that it will last longer or, you know, it won't take as long to cool down and get it again. So moving on to the droid, <laughs> the droid, he looking cool, he's the armoured assault which is the infantry class CR2 he is using which looks like a funky SMG which looks cool, it's got a massive scope on it and it looks funky and amazing. The trigger modification and he's got a thermal detonator epic ability. Now moving on to the CR2, it looks like an SMG sort of gun. He's infantry so it's either going to be an assault rifle or an SMG. He's not going to be the guy who runs in with a rocket launcher, EMP launcher, mortar launcher. He's going to be the guy with the blasters. Trigger modification indicates the change of the rate of fire or maybe something to do with you can change the actual fire rate itself so maybe you can change it to semi-automatic, burst rate or fully automatic. Uh, trigger modification again, no enhanced or that there so it's only for certain modifications unless it's just called enhanced grip. I have no idea. Thermal detonator epic ability, we all know that that's the average grenade we get. Maybe it increases the blast radius or the damage that it does within 
the blast radius itself or you know the cooldown time until you get the next grenade or the ammo amount that you get to carry on the battlefield because we don't know if it's going to be cards we don't know any of that moving on to the female of this picture is the master specialist sniper class now she is using the a280 cfe scope modification and the laser trip mine epic ability now the A280 is a variation of the gun that is in Battlefront 1, uh, this is obviously the sniping variation of it, I don't know what it was called in Battlefront 1, it definitely wasn't CFE at the end of it, but it has a scope modification, maybe the guns don't come with a scope in general, maybe they just come with iron sights and you have to actually work up to get the scope, or maybe that's a variable zoom sort of thing that is on the scope modification. I don't know what that's going to be. Moving on to the laser trip mine epic ability. I've been trying to work this out. I don't know what can make the laser trip mine any better. Yes, again, I don't know how it's going to work. If it's like the card system in Battlefront 1, then we will see the cooldown system, the refresh system of getting that card again smaller. Laser trip mine, maybe it makes it less visible. I don't know. I have no idea what the epic could do for that. More damage, yeah, but it's going to kill you either way. I don't know, but we'll see when it comes to closer release. Now, the picture on the right, yes, you do get three days early access if you pre-order the Deluxe Edition, and there's a nice ass looking picture of the Millennium Falcon right there. And below that, we get some details on the Star Wars Battlefront 2 Last Jedi Heroes. Now, if you do pre-order the game, any edition of the game, you will get these as well. So you get exclusive themed looks for Kylo Ren, and Ray, I think we've already seen the Kylo Ren, which is his unmasked version. Looks cool, he's got a scar on his face, so he's obviously been sliced by Ray. You get the epic ability modifier for Ray and Kylo Ren. You get epic ability modifier for the Millennium Falcon, which is great, and a new First Order ship. Ooh, we'll see that in the film or in the game beforehand, even. So the epic ability modifiers for Kylo Ren and Ray indicates that we will see different additions or different tiers for hero abilities which is interesting and it also indicates that not every hero will be overpowered to start off with which is great now I know they're aiming for a different hero system they're not making them overpowered in this game at all so it's great that you need to actually work towards or spend more money of course on the game to get the better hero get an epic ability modifier for the Millennium Falcon and new first order ship now the new first order ship we don't know what it is so we're gonna avoid that but Millennium Falcon, obviously the gun's going to do more damage, it's going to go quicker, and the ability modifier is either going to be a shield, a boost, uh, I don't know. I, I really have no idea what the epic ability modifier could be for the Millennium Falcon. Comment below what you think it could be, and comment below what class you will be playing as, because I want to know what everyone's playing as on the battlefield. So anyway guys, it's been it from me, the Game Alien. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and also subscribe. I'm not going to take any more of your time out today. I took nine minutes already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.